you know, spicy adult stuff. Um, they know that. They might set some boundaries together once they get into a relationship. But yes, of course, not everyone will be okay dating women who do have friendly sides and there's nothing wrong with that. Everybody has their preferences. I think it's weird when people get really offended about that. Yeah, like a lot of the friendly side content. No, I agree with that. I think most men prefer most men prefer the woman without the friendlies, but I think those that are okay with it do seem to know their limits. Of course. Exactly. Exactly. Hi. Like why do we have to expect that <laughs> Every guy should be okay with what you do. No, that's not gonna work. Women have preferences. Have men, but men have preferences and that's okay. Some men want a woman who stay at home. Some men are okay with, you know, their significant others are working and stuff like that. People should do whatever seems fit for their lifestyle. If they can afford that. But, you know. The question is if. Hi. No, we don't have a boyfriend. Call your pet, Lulu. She's chilling. Why you need her? Lulu! She's right here. Come. Somebody's asking for you. Hello, dear. No, no. Um, I know that there's a lot of men who are completely okay dating the women who does friendly things because they know that for a lot of them, it's a job. Uh, it's nothing emotional, nothing like on those bases and stuff like that. And um, they end up having a decent relationship with their significant others. Again, it's just knowing your partner, being honest with them from the start and things like that. You may need to find the country to find a woman like you. I mean, you can go to countries where you find submissive women and stuff like that. But the question is like, would you want to be with a submissive woman? You know, what's that? It basically comes down to a person's insecurity for those who are uncomfortable with it. Yeah. It's not, no, no, no. Like, in all honesty, Captain, like, if a man didn't want to date a girl who has friendly sides, is he necessarily insecure? No. It's just his preference that he wants a traditional woman or he wants a woman who doesn't, you know, maybe show her body a little bit more conservative in a sense. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't think it has anything to do with insecurity if you don't want to date a girl who does friendly sites. I mean, it is what it is. It's again, you have a preference. It's like, again, some people prefer stay-at-home moms. Some people prefer when their wives work, blah, blah, blah. It's about what you want. Not everyone should be okay with what you do. It's okay.
Yeah, if you listen, man, if you're looking, here's the deal. If you want a submissive woman, <laughs> the thing is, you have to live up to the standards of the man who is able to provide for that submissive woman, right? <laughs> What happens a lot is guys, you know, claim that they want a submissive woman, but they don't even live up to that standard themselves. They're not providers, they are not very like fair men, and uh, they, they cannot provide that lifestyle for a submissive woman. So then it's not gonna work. If you want a submissive woman, <laughs> live up to those standards. Be a provider, earn good money, and etc. Otherwise, don't expect for that to happen. Fair is fair. Right? Mm -hmm. A corporate job, a corporate job. <laughs> yeah. I know, I personally, but I wonder if a woman who is super successful in the friendlies, do you think that woman's gonna sacrifice should the men accept? Well, again, why be in a relationship where you have to give up something? If this is your job, why even be in a relationship where you're forcing somebody to give it up? Why be in that initial relationship from the beginning? That's already a toxic relationship. Yeah, if you want something that you have to provide, exactly. Like, for example, Captain, I would never be in a relationship where um, the man has to be like, you. I, the man has to either uh, like uh, accept it or I have to give it up because I would never be with a man from the initial point who's not going to support what I do, right? It's kind of like that. I need eight. I don't think you should give up your values, exactly, ever. A relationship who who diverse, diverse, who has separate values from the initial start is prone to failure. You have to have your values um, match. Values when it comes to career, values when it comes to family, values when it comes to marriage, has to match. You won't make it, you won't be able to make it work. 